All right, now as more states head towards legalizing marijuana, President Obama is saying that weed use is no more dangerous than that of alcohol. The president told The New Yorker that he sees marijuana use as a bad habit, like smoking cigarettes, but that its harmful effects have been exaggerated. And he also said that marijuana isn't any more dangerous than alcohol and is in fact less damaging in terms of its impact on the person who uses it. Now, instead, the president wants to focus on reforming marijuana criminalization laws that disproportionately affect poor minorities. And he said, quote, African-American kids and Latino kids are more likely to be poor and less likely to have the resources and the support to avoid unduly harsh penalties. We should not be locking up kids or individual users for long stretches of jail time when some of the folks who are writing those laws have probably done the same thing. Uh, now, Luke, the president is saying that he's not trying to encourage people to smoke marijuana, that he's told his daughters that it's a waste of time. But at the same time, um, you know, this that's a pretty big deal to have the president come out and say something like this. Yeah, I think it's a huge deal. I don't think any president has uh, said anything to this effect. I mean, I would even argue that marijuana is less dangerous than alcohol. You can't overdose on it. Uh, you know, it does not destroy families like alcohol can. But, you know, Obama's words... Uh, should come with a promise of action. And he has said that marijuana is as dangerous as alcohol and that uh, laws uh, punishing mar marijuana use should be reformed. So, you know, he is a president. He has the power to set the agenda. So I think if he wants to follow up on these words, you know, he has the power to change that. So far, I haven't seen... Uh, much in the way of him advocating a huge push to decriminalize marijuana. Yeah, and I yeah. wouldn't expect it, honestly.